What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Portigo and Lens Rentals. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a multi-camera setup in a Zoom meeting. So whether you're a teacher and you wanna have two separate angles, one on you and one on some instructions that you're showing, or if you're doing some sort of presentation at work and you need to have two different cameras, one for a wide, one for a tight, one for an overhead shot, whatever it may be, I'm gonna show you how to get it set up in Zoom. So what you're gonna need for this is obviously two separate cameras. Uh, I'm gonna be using one of them, which is the webcam on my MacBook Pro. And then I also have a second camera set up that's gonna be going into USB. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can buy a webcam that just goes directly into a USB, or you can get some sort of capture card. I use the Elgato CamLink 4K, which basically takes any HDMI signal, so any sort of camera that can send out HDMI, like mirrorless DSLRs, and turns it into a USB webcam. So I have an A7 III, the setup above me right here that I'm gonna be doing for my overhead shot, which I'll show you once we actually get into the Zoom software. So for my setup, those are gonna be the two cameras. If you really wanted to, you could get two of these and use two higher end DSLRs or mirrorless if you wanna have that really high quality throughout the entire stream and not be switching from low quality webcam to a high quality camera. So let's just plug this in. USB, HDMI into that. So now let's hop on the computer, we can jump into Zoom. So this is kind of the main interface in Zoom. You can either join into a meeting or create a new one. I'm just gonna create a new one here. And then it's gonna load up and show my webcam. So this is the main camera that I'm gonna be using for my talking head stuff. And if you wanted to, you could swap or choose which one you wanna be your main camera. So if I wanted to, I could go into the little arrow next to the little camera down here and hit cam link. And that's gonna to switch to this overhead shot which I'm gonna show you how to do kind of a quick switch back and forth using the multi-camera. But I want my main camera to be this FaceCam one, this FaceTime HD camera. Now this is a way to switch back and forth quickly between the two of these. You can just hit that arrow and alternate if you wanna show something overhead like this, then you could go back into the FaceCam and you could start talking and giving your presentation that way. But there's an easier way to do it. So let's go over to the screen share button. We can click on that and then in the top, you can switch over to advanced. This is gonna allow you to choose content from a second camera, and then we can hit share. Now, because we're using this share screen, it's gonna show up full screen on everybody's Zoom meeting window. So you're not gonna be this small little box that they have to get into a bigger view. It's automatically gonna put it into this full screen for them. And the great thing it also has is the switch camera button. So you can easily switch back and forth between your overhead or your second camera, and your main camera for talking. So you can start presenting, hit switch camera, show or demonstrate whatever you wanna do, and then go back and forth really easy. It also keeps up your small window with your face talking the entire time instead of just having the overhead or explanation view of what you're doing. So that's basically it for this multi-camera setup. It's a really simple process and it's definitely gonna make your teaching and presentation moments much smoother in Zoom meetings. If you have any questions or other tips that I didn't mention in this video, make sure to put those in the comments. Make sure to like this video if it helped you out. Subscribe for new videos every single week and I'll see you in the next one.